Hi, my name is Ben Hale, or Need Your Disease, on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, pretty much anything. I wanted to take a few minutes and show how I got my new robot enemy character from a, a pretty simple sketch, and then built him out in uh, Photoshop, and then recreated him in Spriter and animated him to get him ready to uh, put into Construct 2. So I did a time lapse of the entire process. I thought I'd just record a commentary over that and uh, maybe it would help some people who, who want to use Spriter and, and use it for their characters too. So um, basically you can see it started out as a pretty simple sketch. It was just um, an idea for a run. I had two positions and there he is dropping in on the side. You um you really want to before you build these things out start with a turnaround. Um, if you look up animation model sheets, you'll get a better idea of what that is. It's really just drawing your character standing up um, and, and rotating him roughly about forty five degrees. Um, if you see right here, I was sort of straightening him out, trying to get at least one of those poses down. Um, kind of tighten them up a bit I, I didn't have the legs figured out in the original sketch so I built those out and did a few variations to see what that would look like now um, you, you can see right here I, I went and I I picked a color palette by going online and I just put in machinery to see what I would get you're gonna see that they're kind of kind of bit me later on but uh, normally I, I do all my drawing in manga studio I decided to do this in Photoshop to try it out I actually like this um, a lot um, uh, you kind of go piece by piece body part by body part torso limbs that sort of thing head this the head is, is just kind of a dome of glass so I, I attach that to the the torso and I'm just kind of going piece by piece layer by layer building out arms shoulders uh, the torso the legs feet um, I wanted to keep just big shapes. I wasn't doing line work because I always like to shrink down my art to get that more uh, retro pixel look. And when you have uh, sharp line work, it doesn't. It looks a little fuzzy when you rotate it. So I was trying to avoid that. So um, I would just kind of I'd build out the shape in the base color. I would um, you know put the highlight on there and then put some shadows in and, and was really pretty happy with how it was turning out. Um, I really like this color scheme, the blue and gold, and uh, it became a problem because I liked it so much it just so happened to also be the color scheme of my main character, which really was a problem. I, I had to go and fix that later. Right there, I'm making a, a new leg. I just copied the other one because I knew I'd need um, you know, a variation for one of those legs. The, the, the back leg, his right leg, is actually to the side already when he's kind of facing forward, but I wanted a side view for both legs when he's walking to the side. Um, I just drew kind of a leaned back uh, version of the character for when they get hit. Right here is when I'm picking a new color scheme. Um, I did about four or five variations and just kind of landed on this one. Um, thought it was kind of a nice contrast to the character's blue. So I had to recolor all the body parts. A few of them I had to redraw because I, I ran into problems with the layers. Um, but built those out and see right here I'm redoing the, the calf muscle and not, not that it's a muscle, but uh, redoing that and just fixing it up and uh, let's see. Yeah, getting the other rotation in there. It was like halfway through that I realized it was the exact same color scheme. and um, So fixing that up and trying to make it look good. Um, you know, I wasn't completely rotating the character, so I didn't need all new legs and arms. But you start to think about what you're going to need, and you want some variations to choose from. Um, you know, arms from different angles. It's it's nice to have, you know, some versions of arms in a little bit of perspective. Um, something you turn towards and away from the camera. Right here is is when I started doing the side view. Because uh, I knew I'd want a, a walking animation like I'm showing at the bottom right now. Um, that actually came pretty quick. I, I was uh, I was pretty happy with, you know, I didn't have to do too much sketching to get the variations on these. Even when I get to the end of this video, there's I still want to go back and add some different versions of hands and, and things like that. Just to help with some other animations I want to do. So right here is me shrinking down all of my art about 30%. 
um, to get to the, the pixel look that I want. Um, I always resize it a nearest neighbor version. Um, that way you get the nice hard edges. It doesn't blur together too much. Uh, I put things in the folders. I, I, you can get real specific with a folder for feet, a folder for hands, folder for you know forearms, that sort of thing. I just went arms, legs, torso, um, and did it that way. You can see the punchy animation in the lower right. That's that was the benefit of me adding a few different torsos. Um, you know, I could get a nice turn out of them that worked out well. So this is me rigging them up in Spryder, adding the bones. I like to do a, a front rigged version and a side rigged version. Here I'm, you know, I got got a rigged, so I'm working on the walk animation. Um, you know, pretty standard stuff. Um, I like to do the legs first, and then get kind of a bounce in there and put the arms in last. I'll probably go back in and touch up the arms. I'm not, I like how it looks, but the arms could be better, definitely. Um, so getting that all fixed up, pro that animation probably took the longest. You can see the final result at the bottom. Um, and then I started working on some knocked back animations. Um, my biggest regret was not going in and setting up pivot points. Um, when I did all the pieces, if you see it, um, you know, when it wants to tween and I, sw I swap between one torso to the other, the second torso, the kind of bending back torso, I didn't do the pivot point there. So it kind of slides weird. Um, so I ended up having to work that a lot and then just doing jump animations and, and, you know, I wanted them to tie between a, a jump animation and then go into a fall animation. Um, and then after that, I, I work on the land. Um, you know, he's a big guy. I wanted to show some weight, so I want him to hit and kind of get up slow. So I spent a lot of time working on that. Um, pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I need to tweak it a little bit in Construct, too. I, I need to make sure he doesn't start walking until after the the landing, standing up animation is over. And then I finished out with, I wanted some kind of attack, so... You know, the legs, I really don't change. Um, it's just uh, the torso getting swapped. But that's about it. I, I plan on having a lot more videos just like this. So uh, if you liked it, please like, share, and definitely subscribe. And uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, everything under Need Your Disease. Thank you.